Yo, what it is, what it is, what it is though, Kids Got Game here. But you guys can call me KGG, and guys, I'm back giving you guys another gameplay. Uh, I know I've been uh, hanging out with some of you guys in the live streams, it's been lit. Uh, as you guys can see, Tistics right there, it just popped up in my feed, it's actually one of the subscribers I was playing with. Uh, I think he is featured in one of these gameplays. Playing with my good friend Yoki. But today, these gameplays is just talking about this uh, map, a BO2 map. That I personally enjoy that they brought back into BO3. It's called Slums. If you guys aren't familiar with it, and um, telling you guys basically the playstyle to do, how to get better gameplays, and what I feel is the best gun to use on this map. Now, when I was playing the beta, the the um, best SMG that was in the game was the uh, Sog 9, which is kind of like the MSMC. If you ever play Block Ops 2, one of my favorite Call of Duties, um, it plays like an MSMC. And it just, just, it just, dude, it just demolishes on this map for no reason. On small range maps, I personally suggest this. High fire rate and high damage and headshots is what's going to get you, um, most of the time, make you win gunfights in this game. My playstyle is always to play flanks, get up behind the enemy, and uh, just kill him from there. As you guys can see, I already have my score streak, which is the sniper's nest. What I believe is the best, one of the best streaks in the game. I haven't used them all, but uh, it's better than an attack chopper to me. Simply because the attack chopper, um, it kind of shoots at people and it doesn't necessarily kill them all the time. It can actually miss shots, but with a sniper, I mean, it sees your head, sees your head, pops your head, you're dead. There is no running from it. There's no getting away. You're just dead, you know. <laughs> so you can always get the guaranteed kill. It picks up a little. It picks up quite a couple kills. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna be telling you guys what to do on this map. Uh, if you're new to the game, what can actually help you win your gunfights? If you're getting mad, you know, what I'm saying playing with sweats can't really keep up. Jump shots is definitely going to uh, help you out in this game. Um, drop shot is it's all right. It works half of the time. Half the time it doesn't. But jump shotting is definitely something that they bring back in this game. That's gonna allow you take away hit detection from your enemy and allow get more hits on your enemies as you guys can see we just got our second sniper's nest now if you're wondering about specialists i am currently running crash um crash is actually my f i only use crash if not crash recon uh we went 26 and 2 that gameplay let's go 13.0 but crash is a character i feel like a lot of people should use simply because he's a support um he has the ability to heal all his teammates which can come clutch especially in obj uh type game modes when say you're on point or objective and you need some extra health search and destroy i mean it's basically having like kinetic armor so it's a huge play in the game uh he drops a support thing that allows i feel like it gives damage to the bullets i don't know um but it does allow you to grab more ammo um and I'm also currently running stem shot on almost all my classes simply because uh, healing is a big factor and they, the reason why they put that in the game is not just so you can you know be like ah screw healing I don't need it no they put that in the game to change up the playstyle and um, see right there I wasn't he jump shot on me destroyed me and I was I'm playing stupidly right now I'm not really you know I'm trying to do what I'm supposed to just kind of playing willy nilly getting too confident We'll change that later on, but um, as I was saying, I have stem shot because the reason why they put healing in the game is so you can adequately use it. So if you're not healing in your gunfights and you know what I'm saying, you're not really, you're playing it like it's hardcore because if you don't heal, then you're most likely going to get wrecked. People have 150 health, you only have 32, you're not healing, you're going to get clapped three point time like out of ten bro like you're just gonna get destroyed so I have the stem shot that way if somebody shoots me I can just get up get my healing going they're like oh he's weak slide up on him but I'm not weak look at that perfect example use my specialist too got myself 200 health he shot all those bullets into me I got off my thing hit him with the gun I was telling you about high fire rate fire from the hip in his stomach man and he was just dead I know he's angry too that's another sniper's nest ladies and gentlemen we in so many streaks like Tell me what you guys KD and score per minute is. I have a uh, 430 score per minute with a uh, 1.89 KD. Trying to raise that to a 2.0. And like I said earlier, I am playing with subscribers. So if you guys need to get carried, Kid Clans earned to hop back on. I've been playing with Kid Scopes. His stats are looking amazing too. 
I mean, he has a nice little 1.45, but he's getting decent gameplays. So if you guys just need to carry him, you know what I'm saying? Want to tune in on stream? Go ahead and uh, subscribe if you're new, and uh, we'll try to help you guys out. And uh, my gamer tag is Kid KDG. I am on Xbox, but I have clan members on PlayStation. If you want to add Kid Zones and Kid Ninja, Kid Ninja currently has a 2.0 KD. Uh, with a 135 score per minute, so he's a little bit on the campier side, but um, he still gets the kills, you know what I'm saying? He's not going to get you a lot of deaths, so that's good to know. So yeah, definitely go play with the uh, with the clan, but anyways, like I said about gameplay, it's pretty much all you need to know. Right now, I'm kind of playing on the sides. I like playing on sides on the flank, uh, pushing inside this middle area. I stay inside mid-map. Just figuring out where the enemy's gonna go so I know exactly where to push. If I need to push backwards, if I need to push to my left, to my right. Just really map controlling it perfectly. I might shoot this dude, run off all the way over to the left side to my teammates. And he's probably not gonna push because my teammates are in the middle. And then when he thinks I'm actually running left side, I'll run right back through the right because he thinks he's safe. Pick up the kill that way. There's a, there's a lot of strategy going into it. Right here, I got a stupid death. I was just trying to spam my sniper nest. It was a double sniper nest gameplay. Uh, without dying and I was just trying to spam it got me killed should just focus on killing the dude and then put up the sniper nest wasn't that serious but I mean decent gameplays I got more to come I think uh, in the beta I had a 30 and 0 flawless gameplay but um my highest I think was a 31 and 5 and I think that was one of the gameplays I showed you before before this one um but the stupid part was <laughs> I wasn't showing the uh, the right the right person for the gameplay, I wasn't showing uh, which one it actually was. You can see, ooh, dude, just look at this. Now, this is like my favorite gameplay. Look at that nice double kill. Look what I do here, bro. I'm so aggressive, like I'm so in tune with myself. Just watch what happens. Look at my reflexes right here. Boom, somebody's right here. Jump shot, fire from the hip, jump shot down right there. Of course he was weak, but look at the plays I played on them, man. Come around this corner, fire from the hip. Uh, that's what else, I mean, it also implements a lot of BO3 and BO2 tactics. Uh, I feel like, boom, come here, get me laid. Look at that, man. Reflexes were, I was not playing, dude. I was destroying, um, playing this corner. But it, it, it in certain gunfights, you gotta realize, if an enemy, this is the best advice I can give you. It has some BO3 mechanics, has some BO2 mechanics. It has the BO2 concept of firing from the hip, slowing down yourself, not running around corners, waiting for an enemy to push up. And then it has the BO3 concept of pre-aiming if somebody's running. So best way to do this is if you know somebody's going to be around a corner, pre-aim that corner and destroy them. Or 10 and I, I believe I go 19 and 0 for this gameplay. And then uh, I die a little bit. But yeah, just firing from the hip pre-aiming see like right here pre-aim and then fire from the hip you know what i'm saying like you got to figure out which ones to use i feel like the best way to say it is if you don't know what enemy is there you just fire around that hip and uh just so you can be ready at all times hit a jump shot in there but if you do know enemy is going to be there then uh definitely go and um pre-aim that corner so you can always get the first shots first shots is crucial Got ourselves a sniper nest. Look at that. Our sniper nest is already going in, and I have one available <laughs> right afterwards, so there's no luck for him. You guys can see what I'm talking about playing the mid. Now, this is a death that I'm not too fond of. I didn't know uh, radiation actually goes through the walls. I thought if I ran away, then I'd be safe. But uh, if I happen again in that situation, I could have got a nuke easily this game. But um, if that happened again, I'd probably just run away from the wall rather than pushing up against it. And uh, hopefully, I could have survived that gunfight that situation that scenario but we're still going off man I said I believe we we're in 19 and 0 first part I'm playing with my boy Yoki as well go give him a follow he was number one what I'm making in the world switching his talents over to Call of Duty with me and uh, yeah we're 23 and 2 right now ladies and gentlemen let's go um yeah, but just doing this will kind of help improve your gameplay. I have the saw, like I said, the best SMG in the game. I was a uh, beta user, and uh, I maxed out the beta, so I did get a free permanent lock token for my grinding. I was rewarded for my uh, sweatiness, you could say, and I ended up getting this gun. Look at this dude. Perfect example. Did you see that? Did you see that? I was able to heal, kill this dude. This dude's shooting at me. I'm on, like, two health or something like that. I jump shot, and I was jump shot and shooting randomly. Threw him off. He ran out of ammo. I was a stupid player right there, but he ran out of ammo to where he had to reload. I was already done reloaded, and then I killed him. I should not have won that gunfight, but the fact that I jump shot it, it took off his hit detection. Boom. 
can change the whole situation around like don't give up bro don't think oh he got me now like no keep fighting bro keep trying to like throw the enemy off always man you never know what could happen in any scenario this is a stupid play too i should have never pushed out honestly should have waited my teammates was watching that side then he ran away should just kind of stayed off on the wall waiting for them to push through um watching this now but i mean still not bad gameplay for you guys 27 to 4 right now we're going off easily going off and yeah this is why slums is my favorite map and why the SOG is one of the best guns in the game when it comes to a close range map. It just slaughters, man. The high fire rate and its accuracy is just, it, it makes no sense. Um, But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this little gameplay. I know I haven't made anything for this. I, I hope that the information I gave you guys kind of helps out your game. I try to give you guys all the tips and tricks that I use, what I feel like is the best in the game. Uh, perks I'm using right now is um, I'm using cold-blooded uh I was using Ghost, I was using Ghost and uh, Tac Mask, but you have to unlock those, but Tac Mask is huge. Um, I might, when I make, when I prestige, I might make a, a camper class, because people like to camp a lot in this game. Mesh mine and stuff, it'll have probably Flat Jacket, uh, either a Frag Grenade or a Nine Bang to flush out the enemies, and um, probably Ghost as well. So, just be on the lookout for that. And uh, I got more gameplays coming you guys' way. This is the only beginning. This is just a commentary one. I got some live comms coming on the way. And uh, yeah, guys, just remember to kill noobs, don't rage, and maintain the swag in the bag. Deuces.